Hiya! So, really quick video right now because kind of got to get ready and head for work, even though we probably just shouldn't have sat in bed for so long. But um, basically, today I am so shaky. Oh, but yeah, basically, today I am planning on going to ICA, the International Contemporary Art Place. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it down because my hand is so shaky right now um yeah so the uh, international contemporary art plays and they have an exhibition going on so usually they have also uh films old films at the same time from the 70s 80s or 60s like playing as well and it goes on till late in the evening till like I don't know, was it 9pm or 11pm? So that's pretty late for a place to open. But I guess if they're playing films, they're almost like a cinema then. So that makes sense. Um, the entry fee is a pound. So I guess what do you have to lose? I'm an art fund member, so I get to go in for free anyway. And I've never been before, so I thought I might as well explore today after work. Um, got out at 5.30pm yesterday so I should have time today and if you're seeing this video then yeah that means I had time and I went um so yeah I'm gonna bring you guys along with me see you in a bit
fishing boats around. Rise and burn in the sky the peak of all phenomena. Rise in my flesh. Rise in my mouth of the child. Rise again. everyone so now I'm back home in my flat as you can see so today was pretty long kind of day um was trying to like still set up a couple things on my laptop at work still then had a few meetings and stuff at the end of the day I did decide to go to the Institute of Contemporary Arts um here's the pamphlet for it focus and the exhibition is called I I I I I I I Kathy Acker so I think I actually said international contemporary arts this morning yeah I was still so tired and in my mind I was like what is it called it's obviously not international contemporary arts or else there'll be like a mixture like a big kind of like a V&A style type of um museum of like different arts I don't know why I said that anyway but yeah so this is near Trafalgar Square and um, it opens still really late actually so people were still heading in and out the um, staff there was nice the exhibition itself was very interesting so she incorporates um, mythological creatures in it kind of appropriates it technically into her um, form of art, her yeah exhibition, and it talks in depth about um, women's kind of you know struggles in life, um, body parts, and um, yeah, a lot about women topics that would be seen. I don't know how to describe it. Like you wouldn't talk about normally because it's seen as bad per se um so it's very interesting to see that and she very she like it exaggerates it obviously and that's the whole point to add that layer of um sarcasm i guess to it um to like yeah just express those um just express those meanings in a way that really hits home with the messages that it's trying to convey and yeah it was interesting it was like quite small it was a Tuesday as well actually and Tuesdays everyone can go see the exhibition for free I didn't know that I knew that with an art pass is free and there are like talks and stuff there's a program Quite a big program actually so obviously yeah there are like films and stuff as well that you could go see um yeah it was quite small i don't know it's hard to tell the layout of it because it's quite if you see the outside it's just long like quite wide the building it doesn't like you know there's no different floors but yeah um I don't know if you get the opportunity go see it on a Tuesday when you definitely know it's for free so yeah that was my day uh yeah I wasn't didn't do a lot a lot but yeah I feel content with how much I did for yeah a weekday that I'm working so yeah thanks for watching guys comment down below um what if you like this type of content what you want me to do next maybe like this video so i know you like these type of videos and subscribe for more content like this so yeah see you next time guys bye